All right, so John Cole with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm going to announce an all-new juicer that I literally just got in the mail today. And now you guys, in most countries around the world, including over 200 countries, can buy this juicer. Because I know a lot of you guys have asked me and have been waiting for it. And what this juicer is, is the NAMA J2 International version. It looks just like the U.S. version that I've been using, I mean, almost probably for about a year now since I got the first model before it came out and was released in the United States. It has an amazing box. Let me show you guys how cool this box is when you open it up, right? This has really good design elements. And look at that. Inside here, there's just little boxes with the different components, your motor base, your um, whole top set, a smoothie screen, the catch cups, as well as your pusher and cleaning brush. This is the all new NAMA J2 International version. This is the version that you guys have been waiting for. For those of you guys in the EU, UK, or AU, and that's the United Kingdom, European Union, and Australia, or other places around the world that use 230 to 240 volts. Um, it only comes in those plug types, but you can get a plug type adapter to use in your countries if you operate on 230 to 240 volts. So let's take a look at the all new NAMA International version. Here it is, and guess what? It pretty much looks just identical to the US version of the NAMA J2 juicer that I've been testing. Now before I go on, I want to show you guys right now from April 9th, which is the day this video is being posted, to April 30th, you guys can get an $80 discount on the, the international version only, and that's the 230 to 240 volt model, by using my coupon code DJ80 at namawell.com. Shortened link is right down below this video so that you guys can go instantly to the Nemowell website, use my coupon code, get $80 off your price. And the other thing that I will say candidly is that if you guys have been waiting for one of these juicers, trust me guys, buy it now. Don't delay, don't wait. There's a very limited quantity of these uh, 230, 240 volt models and they will run out. Mark my words, they will run out. There has been multiple times the J2 in the standard US um, version has run out and it's been challenging due to all the shipping logistics going on in the world to get them back in but I'm glad to say also if you guys are looking for a Nabbit J2 in the US they are also in stock right now so this is the time to order uh, you can't use the DJ80 code if they're in the US but if you're in the US you could use my other code DJJ210 for a $55 off um, the Nama J2 and 110 version that being said, if it is past April 30th, 2022, the DJ80 code will no longer work for you guys that are internationally, so then you guys could also use the DJ J210 code for $55 off your purchase of the NAMA J2 Juicer International version as well. The next thing I want to say is if you enjoy my content in these in-depth videos that nobody else does online, I want to encourage you guys to use my coupon codes that I previously mentioned so that NAMA will share a small percentage of the sale with me so I can continue my work and bring you these amazing videos where I'll teach you things about the juicers that nobody else online will. And I'm a straight shooter, guys. I tell it like it is. I compare this juicer to some of the highest end juicers on the planet and show you guys the results, share with you guys the pros and the cons, because that's the thing, man. A lot of influencers may just promote the NAMA and they'll say, get this, it's the best, because you know they get a commission on it. And yes, I get a commission on this too, but the difference between me and other influencers is that I test all the machines, because why? Because I wanna know for me what juicer is the best, because I juice on a regular basis. I drink two juices a day, today I've already had 64 ounces um, of juice. And after this, actually, I'll be juicing again in the NAMA J2. And the other thing I'll tell you guys is that the NAMA J2 is now my current favorite juicer, the juicer that I use most in my kitchen. If I have to juice large quantities of produce, and in most cases, I'll choose the NAMA J2. Of course, there's other instances where I may choose the Santa 727 or use the DynaPro um, vacuum blender and do vacuum juicing. Be sure to check my videos for that. But for the most part, I always just default to the NAMA J2 unless I have a specific situation. 
um, because it's a lot easier to use. I can literally load up the hopper, shut the lid, and walk away. It could juice without having to babysit it because it automatically feeds the juicer for you so you can juice literally hands free. And that's the most amazing thing about the Nama J2. So now to compare for you guys out there, the differences between the Nama J2 International 230, 240 volt version and the Nama US or North America version. So on this side, I got the Nama International version uh, with the EU plug type. Of course, it also comes in the AU and the UK plug type if you need them. And over on this side is my trusty Nama J2 that I've been using since they sent it to me from the beginning. Same motor base, I got a few top parts uh, replaced, um, you know, because they had some challenges with it that I have heard that NEMA has been improving the quality and the build quality, making rolling adjustments and improvements as the units are manufactured. So if you get the NEMA juicer now, it has all the latest and greatest improvements to ensure greater durability for you guys. The other thing I want to say is that both the international and the US or North American version come in two colors. The amazing white color and the also dark color. My personal preference is I really love the cleanliness of that white color, especially for a lot of European kitchens. I, I seem to see a lot of European kitchens are in the white color. This is going to look a lot sharper. That being said, for those of you guys that don't clean th th things up as well, get the black one because it hides stains more. So just looking at these machines side by side, literally, these have the same exact top sets over here. They're a totally identical. Everything is identical. All the parts is identical. Even down to the motor bases. The motor bases pretty much look identical. This one's black, this one's white. Oh, and actually, they're about the same weight. Maybe the international version is a little bit heavier, but that's really not going to affect the performance at all. Even down to using the same IEC connector to plug in your removable power cord. Be forewarned guys, although these have the same connector, these are only for use with the voltage marked on the bottom of the machine. You can't just take a 110 volt plug and put it in here and have this juicer work. Actually, you're gonna void your warranty using either these machines outside the designated area it was meant to be used. The 120 volt model is for use in North America and other places that use the 120 volt standard. And of course the international version is meant for places that use the 230 volt model. How you will know which model you got is if you look on the bottom here, there's a little label that says NEMA and this will say rating 230 to 240 volts, 50 hertz, 200 watts. Whereas the bottom of this machine here, which is the US version, says uh, 120, uh, 60 hertz, 200 watts. So they both have the 200 watts, but the difference is the voltage. Now, I know a lot of you guys might get confused. The bigger number is better. If it's 230, it's better because it, it, it's, it's twice as much as this. No, that's just like how much voltage comes out of your wall plug. This is the cord for the European version that I could, you know, theoretically fit in this version, but you would not want to plug this into the wall now because you're literally going to fry that juicer. So ensure that you get the proper voltage for where you live now in the US, Canada, and North America. You want to get the North American version if you live, you know, internationally and you use a different voltage, have a different plug type than the standard US plug, you're going to want to get the international version or the version right for you. And so we could go ahead and plug this IEC cord connector, same as like what a computer uh, desktop would use. So just for the demo, don't do this at home because if you're in other countries, you're gonna be able to just plug this right into the wall or the right cord into the wall depending on where you live. In the US, I don't have 230 volt outlets that I can plug into, so I got a step up transformer. Once again, using a step up or step down transformer to use the machine not appropriate to your country will void your warranty. I'm just doing it today so I can show you guys that this machine, the international version, works just like the US version. For those of you guys that live internationally and have been waiting for the NAMA J2 to become available for you guys. So let's go ahead and plug this baby in. Let's turn this on and check it out. I got an international version here in the US. Don't do this at home, but if you're internationally, this is the machine you want to buy. So here's the thing, around the world you may have many different juicer options. I don't keep abreast of all the different juicer options in every single country around the world. I mainly focus on the US market 
myself. But what I can tell you guys is that I've tested all the major brand juicers in the U.S. that are available in the U.S. against the NAMIT J2, especially for ease of use. There is no easier to use juicer on the planet that works as well as the NAMIT J2 that I've tested to date. I've tested this against a similar Huron uh, H200 model that is available around the world and the NAMA blew it away, link down below to that video. I have not tested it against the Huron 300 model that literally is just released around the world but not available in the US. That being said, that uses the same uh, newfangled screen technology as the H200 so I do not believe it's going to perform as well either but I have not yet tested it because I'm not a big fan of the uh, screenless design that has the slits. I have not found their performance to work as well as the good old standard stainless steel screen. Plus also along with just the performance of the machine, link down below, check my H200 video because a lot of the things with the H200 is duplicated in the H300 so some things haven't changed that I'm not a big fan of. The other thing I will say is that I've been working closely with NAMA for over a year now with the NAMA J2 and I will say that you know, they've worked on continually improving their machine over time when there are small parts breakages. Nothing ever major has broken on the NAMA J2 for me. It's only these small little, you know, this little flip thing here and the hinge up there. Little things that are broke, but they've worked on improving that in many juicer companies. Once the machine's out, they don't make any major improvements to Im improve the user experience unless the user experience is really bad. Also, NAMA is increasing their customer support so that they ensure they can take care of all the customer support and warranty needs from people around the world. The other reason why I like the NAMA J2 is because it has a full 15 year warranty on the motor base, which means you'll have trouble free operation of the motor for the next 15 years. Of course, on the juicing parts, it has a shorter two year warranty, although I've been told by the president of NAMA that they have been taking care of people after the two year mark but that is not in writing and that can change at any time but it's important for NAMA in my personal opinion to have really good customer service because they are a brand new juicer brand literally unheard of before and they want to leave their mark make their mark as a well established juicing company that are going to be selling juicers and other health products for many years to come so they want to do what they can to ensure they get good feedback from their customers which are their bread and butter. The other thing I'm going to say is that the NAMA J2 is my favorite vertical juicer at this time. So if you're considering a vertical juicer, right, just do yourselves a favor and get the NAMA J2. You could watch my other videos where I compare the NAMA J2 against other brands of vertical juicers. And the NAMA J2 always comes out doing really well in my videos. Once again, if you guys want to get one of these, either the US or the international version, order it now while they're in stock because they will be going out of stock and then you can get on the wait list and then you could, you're gonna to have to wait probably a fair bit before they come in stock again due to all the uh, shipping and logistics issues that are going on in the world. So the next thing I want to do for you guys in this episode is actually use both NAMAs, two NAMA J2s at once, juicing two different recipes for you guys. This is never done before on YouTube because most people only have one NAMA J2. I got two NAMA J2s here, the international and the home version to share with you guys that they work exactly alike and everything I've said in the past on all my old videos that are linked down below on the NAMA J2 would apply to the international version as well. One of the biggest questions I get is, John, is the NAMA J2 just a fruit juicer? And I'm like, no, it's a fruit and vegetable juicer. Whether you want to juice things like celery or whether you want to juice things like kale, that's fresh picked out of my garden, you guys can juice that in the NAMA J2. As a matter of fact, the NAMA J2 will pretty much juice most all fruits and vegetables that other common juicers will juice. In addition, the NAMA J2 gets a higher yield than high-speed juicers in almost all situations and does a stellar job at juicing other produce items as well. And the main claim to fame with the J2 and why I use it more is because it just makes juicing easy. You have hands-free juicing and can even pre-make the produce you're going to juice the night before. Wake up, throw that in your hopper turn it on, let the machine run for about two to three minutes, you'll have a 24 ounce juice. 
you could drink it and then you just need to clean up the juicer without you having to push things in the juicer. That's definitely old school. Link down below to my video where I have four easy recipes in the J2 and show you how easy it is, but we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate for you guys right now juicing a green juice as well as a fruit juice in both the Nama J2 US and international version. So now we're all set up and ready to juice in the Nama White International and the North American Black model. Once again, you could get them in either color wherever you live. And we got two recipes, and the reason why I love the Nama J2 so much is because you can literally pre-make a recipe the night before, days before, put them in these nice glass jars, storage jars you guys can buy from your local IKEA around the world, and literally just dump the, this into the Nama J2 hopper, turn the machine on, it'll juice for you, and when come back, it'll be done, and you have a glass of juice. I'm using a 24-ounce mason jars. Um, to collect the juice, they fit perfectly right under the juicer, and I find, based on my testing, that using these jars to fill up um, in there will basically make about 24 ounces of juice, so everything works out perfectly. Links down below this video if you guys want to get these special containers at Ikea made out of glass. I have the nice bamboo lids, but you could also get plastic or glass lids to suit your preferences as well. And that's what NAMA wants for you guys they want to make juicing easier so that you implement and drink the fresh juices on a regular and consistent basis or if you want to do a juice fast the nama is the juicer that i would use for a juice fast because it's easier to juice you can make larger volumes of juice without having to stop and clean the juicer matter of fact in a recent video post the link down below i made bulk green juice you know, in the Nama J2 juicer, made about seven quarts in 55 minutes, under an hour, which is a lot of juice, especially for greens. Of course, you could juice other things. Fruits would be a lot easier even than greens, but I want to show greens because green can be more challenging to juice in vertical juicers. Of course, you could also make carrot and root and other vegetable-based juices, whatever you could think of. If they're vegetables that normally can be juiced in traditional juicers, you could juice them in a Nama because of the lower RPM, you're going to create a higher quality juice with more nutrition than high speed machines. All right, so let's get started. Um, over on this side, we have our green juice recipe. On the bottom, we got some apples, we got uh, lime, I got a whole bunch of celery. So if you want to do medical medium celery juice, this machine will be perfect for juicing straight celery. I've done that before, link down below to my video. Also, I have some dinosaur kale fresh picked from my garden. So we're just going to go ahead and take off the lid. You guys can see all the produce in there. And now the most important thing is when you use the MHAT, you want to load it properly. All the leaves should go in first, and then I put the celery in next, and then the apples on top. And when you tip this upside down the other direction, it loads from the bottom up. So you don't want to just put the apples, then the uh, celery, and then the kale on top. You want to make sure the leaves always go into the bottom. The, generally, the, more, the things that are heavier end up on top of the machine. So we're just going to go ahead and dump this right in the machine. And everything goes right in the juicer. And you're just going to go ahead and press this down a little bit so we don't spill everywhere. All right, once we got everything in there, we can just go ahead, that's locked and loaded, and clip it shut, and we're all ready to juice on that side. Next, let's go ahead and load up the U.S. version of the Nama J2 with our fruit juice recipe. This one has pomegranates, a little bit of ginger, pineapple and oranges. I always want you guys to juice those nice red and purple vegetables rich in anthocyanins that can possibly impact your health. Once again, turn this upside down and look at that. All right into the Nama J2. So we got this recipe loaded up. Close that lid. Now that we're all locked and loaded, next thing we gotta do is we're gonna go ahead and turn the machines on. And literally now you could walk away because the juicer and the processing blade is doing all the pre-cutting and feeding of the juicer automatically for you so that you don't have to. You can take this time to spend with kids, do your hair, get ready for work, do other food prep tasks in the kitchen, call a friend, check your Instagram, your emails, even read a book like I'm gonna do myself. All right, we're already done with the fruit juice because the fruits have a lot more water content then the vegetables, the fruit juice was done first. We're actually almost overflowing, so we would have probably exceeded the 24 ounce capacity because we did have all these watery fruits in there. And the cool thing is about the J2 
is that we're going to go ahead and close the spout cap, remove our jar, and look at that nice, rich fruit juice. Whether you want to do straight oranges, straight pineapples, straight pomegranate arrows like I did today, or a combination juice, you can do it all in the Nama J2. And as I'm finished talking up, it looks like the green juice is just about finished in the Nama J2 as well. And we got this last bit of juice draining into the machine. Next thing I want to tell you guys is how do you know when to turn it off, right? Well, you want to check the pulp outlet port. If pulp stops flowing out the outlet port, that is your indicator that it is time that the, to turn off the machine and it's completely done. Also, it looks like the juice has stopped coming out of the machine. We're going to go ahead and turn that off. One of the things I like to do is lift up the top set and pour and you'll get some of the extra, extra residual juice. We can close that spell cap, move our juice out and check it out hands-free juicing in the NAMA J2 juicer international version or US version they work identically the same guys if you guys have been waiting for one or the other of these to come in stock now is your time once again use a coupon code DJ80 at NAMAWELD.com link down below uh, to get $80 off the international version that's the EU the UK or the AU version um, from April 9th to April 30th, order before April 30th because the coupon will expire. You won't be able to get the $80 off any further. The discount will then go down to $55. And if you want to get the $55 off past April 30th on the international version or get the $55 off right now on the U.S. version, you guys could do that also at namowell.com and use my coupon code DJJ210 for $55 off. Um, either of these two machines so that you guys could be juicing hands-free simply and easily with the NAMA J2 juicer and next thing I want to do I always do in my videos is try the juices all right what juice should I try first I think we're gonna do it with the green juice first I could chase it with the fruit juice once again dinosaur kale celery apples some lemon mmm actually lime that's a nice juice, man. I taste very little texture in there. You know, the J2 generally puts uh, some of the lowest amount of pulp into the juice compared to other vertical augers I've used in the past. Next, I'm going to go ahead and try that sweet juice. This is going to be a good one, a doozy, man, with the oranges, pineapple, a little bit of ginger, and more importantly, those nutritious pomegranates. Mmm, mmm. Man, that hits the spot, actually. Oh, it's tough. Both these juices taste amazing. Of course, they're both made in the NAMA J2. And you guys could do it at home. You guys could make either of these two juices if you guys buy the NAMA or whatever creations you guys could come up with in your amazing creative brains or other recipe books. And let's not forget the J2 also comes with its own recipe book to help get you started juicing and making your way to a healthier life today with the NAMA J2 juicer. Also be sure to click that link down below in the description where you can go to my original unboxing video of the J2 so you could learn all about it, all the different things that comes up with it, as well as when I juice something really difficult in it and how to even juice that. I'm not gonna tell you guys what that is, but it did work um, without issue and the same machine is still working great for me. Um, also be sure to check my other episodes on the NAMA J2 to see how it compares to other juicers. You know, the NAMA J2, once again, is my favorite juicer, and don't wait, don't delay, buy one today before they are out of stock. Links down below in the description. Now I want to show you guys my final thoughts. For those of you guys that are beginner juicers that have never juiced before, the NAMA J2 is an excellent juicer to turn your health around today. You guys just know that guy, Joe Cross? He made the movie, or documentary, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. If you guys haven't seen that documentary already, I want you to watch it right now. It's probably here on YouTube that you guys could watch for free. Joe now promotes the NAMA J2 as his favorite juicer. And I'm sure if the NAMA J2 was around when he made that movie, he would have been using the NAMA instead of a Breville high-speed machine. I'm not really a fan of the high-speed machines myself. I am personally glad that NAMA came out with the J2 juicer that literally is revolutionizing juicing because it takes juicing to the next level to make it more easy and accessible to people that don't want to sit there and push stuff into the juicer and spend all day juicing. You could literally load it up, Turn it on, the juice comes out, shut it off, clean it, and you're done. You got some fresh juice so you guys could change your health, your family's health, your kids' health, your spouse's health, 
even your neighbor's health if you want to make them juice too because it's so easy in the Nama J2 juicer. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and more importantly, share this with other people around the world so that they can learn how the international version of the Nama J2 is now available in over 200 countries for you guys to buy. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on new upcoming episodes. I have coming out about every five to seven days. You don't know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And make sure you click the bell so you get notified as my new videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 700 episodes at this time on this YouTube channel dedicated to comparing and contrasting all the different major brand juicers that are available here in the U.S. so that you guys could buy the right juicer for you. And I'm surely glad the J2 is now available internationally because so many people have asked me about it. Once again, I wanna thank you guys for using my discount code DJ80 to get your international juicer or DJJ210 to get your US version or international version after April 30th, uh, 2022. Um, they give me a little bit of commission so that I can continue to make these videos for you guys. So I appreciate you guys that have used my coupon code and thank you guys who will be using my coupon code in advance. Your support is how I'm able to make these videos and show you guys the truth about the juicers. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube if you're in the U.S. for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors.